Hi, this is Mark, NB8i. Um, I'm trying to figure out and came up with, I think, as a solution for um, uh, doing a mobile mount for my uh, new 857D. And uh, the thing that I wanted to do was I didn't want to rack it to the, uh, the, the top of the car and drill through the metal. I kind of wanted to make it somewhat portable, uh, but at the same time, a permanent install if it was actually in the car. And also the idea was is that it would be protected from various debris rolling around the trunk uh, with the brick in the trunk as compared to like having the, uh, 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 the, the separation kit and the, and the head up front near the front of the car like I showed in the previous video. So what I came up with is this idea. Um, I bought a uh, Sterilite um, container. Uh, it's about 8.5 by 13. And uh, what I did was, is that it kind of fits the radio mount perfectly. So um, if you can see, it has this convoluted edge here. And uh, so what I did was, is that um, I took a couple painting sticks and I laid them in the bottom like this and cut them at Home Depot, as you can tell. So it's a plug for Home Depot, I guess. Um, so I laid those in the bottom and I cut a piece of poplar which was uh, two bucks uh, for a foot and I drop it in like this and I mounted the mobile mount to it and what I'll do is I'm going to drill a boatload of holes around the uh, outside uh, for ventilation and uh, to be honest with you I can keep the top off and uh, when I throw stuff in the car I can always throw it on top if that makes sense. So. Uh, the uh, spacers on the bottom keep the unit from rolling side to side, and if you also look, it's almost a perfect fit width-wise. So I'll cut holes here, and uh, here and here for the control cables, and uh, I'll put a bunch of holes in the top here, and uh, in the sides for ventilation. Um, I can also crack the back trunk if necessary, because I was thinking about the heat that uh, the, the brick puts out. Uh, it gets reasonably warm, uh, but it is fan controlled, but I don't want to blow it out. And in the summer, obviously, uh, you know, the trunk heat always goes up. Um, so I can always, I can roll back one side on the seat and uh, let the AC get back there a little bit. But the key thing is, is that the unit itself won't get slammed around uh, by sitting on a floor position. And on the bottom of this, what I decided to do was to use large pieces of Velcro. That's only two for the moment, but I'm going to put a whole boatload on the bottom. And uh, Velcro it to the carpet. And uh, it should work fine. And uh, I'll be back in a minute with the finished product. 